Okay, welcome to session number seven. So today we will talk about IoT and power under the hood. We had a small kind of encounter of IoT and power already before. So you know, this is the system that I built to support teaching in class of Internet of Things. It's affordable, accessible, hopefully motivating and educational. It has this specific architecture that you have all these local networks that students can take home. And I want to show you that there are kind of very different ways and different setups how you can run it. So and I hope after this class, you can also run your own IoT and Power instance on your computer so that we you can actually compile much, much faster than you can do on the, the Pi and that you can have kind of different setups and are not in your hair all the time when you work on the gateway. I would like you today to pull out your kind of nice to have list from the last time and hopefully check off some of the features that you have in there or extend the features that were there for kind of deploying the IoT systems you are going to build and what's going on in terms of scaling up. Yeah, I would have liked to show to you the PWM video today, which is not done, but let's start actually looking at the RGB LED video. This is uh, done and try to already here at this point derive some kind of generics how IoT and power is used. Yeah, so there are some kind of steps you have to do if you use IoT and power to actually adding a new device, adding a new node. 